Hey guys, it's Irish again. It's been a few weeks since the last time I made my video. I've just been uh, busy with the newborn baby. He's uh, a little over a month old, so I have my hands full. So I do apologize for not making as many videos as I usually do. But in this video, I got a request on how to set up a panel in BSPWM. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So. Uh, by default, as you can see, there is no panel, no anything. As long you just have your BSPWMRC file and your SXKHDRC file, and that's all you really need to run this uh, this uh, window manager. So the one that I like to use is Dyson 2, uh, just because uh, it allows me to click on the different uh, uh, on different um, workspaces. So, what we're gonna do here is gonna go add Dyson to. Type in the password here. So you could technically use any panel out there. So you can use XMobar, you can use Lemon Bar, you can use a Conkey, uh, you can use uh, Dyson 2. Uh, you can probably use um, the one that uh, Openbox uses. So, but again, I like the clickability of Dyson 2. So the second part, if we actually go to the Arch Wiki, so if we go over to the Arch Wiki, uh, you can see the panels, and then this is just the basic um, panel. If you want to know about the uh, lemon bar, which the, that was my initial one, you can click on bar or just type in lemon bar and it tells you how to fix it. But if you go also to the main guy, Baskerville, uh, and then go to examples, there are four things that you'll need to put in. So panel, panel bar, panel covers, and then if we go over to uh, to my uh, GitHub page, you'll do panel Dyson 2. But the thing that you also need to do is change your pathway. So if we go back to a terminal, we do echo path, you can see that this is the local path. So what we need to do is either make it for the S bin or like as you can see here uh, do where you're going to be putting your BSP files so if we just do a sudo vim etsy slash profile to change your pathway it's line number seven here uh, then you just want to put in where you want it so this is the path uh, you can just make it whatever. By default it's user slash local slash sbin and then there's another one. But if you put a colon down there and then just put uh, home slash dot config bspwm uh, that's where all the panel information is going to be. So that is just a few logistical things that we need to do. So let's just quit this out and let's go into my uh, BSP folder. So it's cd uh, tilde dot config slash BSP autocomplete. So right now all that's in there is the BSP WRC file. So the first thing we need to do is create the panel. Now again you can get these examples off of that uh, the examples part of the github page. Uh, I will leave a link to that below. So we just need to make, uh, so we'll just do, I'll say gedit and then panel. So this should open up a, oop, and now if we go to, uh, we'll just use mine, go panel. So we're going to go down. And I will go through some of this stuff uh, as much as I can. The person who really helped me with this is Daniel Sandman. He has been using BSP 
for a lot longer than I have and he helped me with this but this is just the basics uh, right here uh, if you want to have your battery uh, make sure you change it here because I think by default it's just bat zero so we're just gonna save that and then we're just gonna continue so G edit panel underscore colors so it's gonna go back to my thing here come back up uh, go color so mine by default if we look at the colors thing he doesn't um, tell you what does what exactly I painstakingly went through and figured out what every one of these did so if you guys want a reference you can use mine I just say like the bar uh, other workspaces stuff like that so we'll just copy this over and then just have two more things to put in here so next one is just gonna be uh, the bar so panel bar and now again these are the ones that uh, are are that are the in the examples right here so let's do the bar let's go down here copy paste and then as you can see a lot of these are bash scripts so you will have to uh, make sure that you make them executable and now the last one that we need to do is the Dyson 2. This is the one that Daniel Sandman actually helped write for me, but I can try to explain a little bit for it. Uh, a lot of it uh, is just where, uh, what colors are going to be what, and then, um, yeah, it, it, it just, I would just copy and paste. Uh, a lot of it's just bash scripting part of it, so. We'll just do all of this. So come back down here. Copy. Paste. So the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we chmod every one of these. So we're just going to list this out. So it's going to be sudo chmod plus x and then panel. I misspelled Chamad wrong. Now, next one is the bar. And then the other one is the Dyson 2. Since the colors did not have the uh, what looked like to be a uh, bash script for it. So. So now that all of those, so if we want to check, we just do an ls slash la, and uh, you should see x's along the panel, the bar, and then the Dyson 2. So the last thing that we need to do is go into our BSPW. And now, let's go here, and then scroll all the way down, or you can put this anywhere, but as long as you put the panel and the and signed, uh, that should uh, put it, it will go through and make sure that everything is correct so what I'm gonna do is restart and we'll see if this worked so be back so once we restart you can see that the top bar is up here uh, why there's a blank thing is because my trayer which is down here is supposed to go up there but uh, I've been using Xmonad for the last two weeks, so I just moved everything down there. So when you open up a um, any type of program, you'll notice that it will actually fill the top. So the one thing that you need to do is put in what is known as a padding, uh, which I did forget to mention. Uh, so if we, uh, so as you can see that you can see the top bar, even if we go into uh, Firefox here uh, you'll, you'll notice it right there uh, so if we go into the main one so we're just going to look at this here uh, 
up on top you'll notice that you need to put in bspc config top underscore padding and then it's just a matter of tweaking here so you just want to put in point or 115 or 14 so 14 is what uh, you see here so everything works and now if we try to yep so if we try to type this or uh, put this uh, like cl clicking on it, it will click. So that is all I have. Uh, please request uh, if you guys want to s uh, have me do any distro reviews or any videos, please let me know. Uh, I think I have officially have, I uh, can't think of any things that I want to do. So whatever you guys want to see, please let me know. Uh, and again, I just wanted to do a, a mini update. Uh, I have been using Xmonad for the last two weeks. Uh, I just feel like it's, uh, since I'm not much of a gamer, even though I have Steam and all that, I just decided not to, uh, if I am going to do any gaming, I would just go to my desktop. So, um, so that's what's been going on. So, again, uh, I will catch you guys uh, in the next video. Please make requests down below, and I will catch you next time.